I'm Carol McCarthy for Hometown Happenings here on TV3, and I'm here in the Detroit Lake City Park with the band Chell behind me. This is the setting of Shakespeare in the Park, which is becoming a fast, becoming a rite of summer here in the Detroit Lakes area. And I'm standing here with an actor, actress, uh, Olivia, who uh, has taken part in the last couple of years mm -hmm. in Shakespeare in the Park. Uh, Olivia, let's talk a little bit about how did you get involved with this? Uh, last year I got an email from Nikki. She was putting a call out for auditions and I hadn't done theater in a long time on the stage anyhow. I directed the One X in Frazy for the past few years. Um, and so I came out to auditions and got a role and when it came around again this year I was excited to participate again. Okay, uh, and the, the different thing about this, uh, obviously it's Shakespeare, but it's outside so you've got a lot of elements to work with <laughs> yes um, there's always a distraction like you wouldn't have in a normal theater setting there's cars racing through there's kids driving by with their thump a thump of music and on occasion like kids riding up on the stage on their bikes so <laughs> It's an interesting experience. Okay, and how long have you been preparing for this? Uh, uh, roughly a month. Okay. We've been working. Uh, we started at the end of May and have been doing Monday through Friday rehearsals since. Okay, and I hear Nikki's a really uh, tough uh, director. She made you practice in the rain the other night. Yes, yes, she did. <laughs> it was a cold, wet rehearsal, but we. We're troopers and made it through. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, we're talking about Shakespeare in the Park here in Detroit Lake City Park, which is uh, going on uh, this coming weekend. And uh, it's a great thing to check out. Uh, one of the unique things about summertime in Detroit Lakes, I think, and it's been going on for three years. And Olivia's been in the last couple of productions. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, what is something What is something that uh, if people are wanting to come out uh, to, to look for or to experience in uh, Shakespeare in the Park? Um. Just uh, an opportunity to be exposed to some Shakespeare, which not a whole lot of people get that opportunity outside of high school. Um, and to get some good laughs because the show is funny. And yeah, you have to listen to catch the jokes, but some of that is physical comedy. You can see it. Um, but it's a good time. and. Yeah. Come on out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. We're going to take a break and we're going to talk to another actor and then uh, director Nikki Caulfield coming up on TV3's Hometown Happenings. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here with Bobby Highmark, who is an actor and Shakespeare in the Park, where it's a lovely evening in the park in the Detroit Lake City Park with the band Shell. Shakespeare in the Park will be uh, the production uh, this year. And uh, Bobby, what is the name of the production this year? The name of the production is All's Well That Ends Well. Okay. All right, now you've been in the past, you've been on all three productions. Yes, that's correct. Okay, yep. uh, you keep coming back for more. What is it about Shakespeare in the Park? Uh, well, I enjoy acting, um, and I know Nikki, I've known Nikki for many years, but I enjoy the acting and enjoy being outdoors, and, and it, it's fun to do. Are you a fan of Shakespeare, obviously, or? Um, to be honest with you, other than Romeo and Juliet, I hadn't read Shakespeare until three years ago, or two years ago now when we did the first one, but yeah, okay. I've become a fan. All right. Uh, what are some of the, in the three years, what are some of the, and we were talking to Olivia before the break, what are some of the uh, things that you've uh, taken in as an actor to become uh, more of a, a seasoned actor these three years? Uh, well, I would say be bigger. Um, I've learned... Uh, from I would say from the first year I did it to now, you know, how to be bigger, how to put more emotion into it, how to just become a better actor. Okay. And how do you deal with distractions? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, sometimes we try and work them in. You know, like last year, uh, one of our actors, uh, somebody had gone by with some music and he brought it right in, just right in, right with the steps. So we just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be open-minded. You gotta be kind of improv with that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. So, uh, you know, if somebody is watching us, I asked Olivia the same question. We had you behind a curtain, so you could didn't hear it. But what is something that you would tell somebody to come and watch Shakespeare or Spear in the Park if they're kind of on the line of, well, should I go or shouldn't I? Well, it, it's a nice evening out, especially if it's good weather, um, like tonight, and it's very entertaining. Um, this year we have somebody that kind of comes out and explains a little bit with it which makes it a little bit easier for those that, that don't understand the Shakespeare and that and, and there are funny lines in there mm -hmm. as well so there's there's comedy in with it so it's not all tragedy and 
And now there are no microphones too, so you really have no. to get your voice out there. Huh? Exactly. There's there's no microphone, so we gotta project uh, <laughs> quite well, and that's something Nikki stresses okay. to us quite a bit. But. All right. Well, Bobby Harmark is one of the many. How many actors are there in this play? There are twelve. Okay. Okay. So one of the twelve, one of the dozen uh, actors in Shakespeare in the Park this year in the Detroit Lake City Park. Come on down and uh, check it out. It's one of the rights of summer here in Detroit Lakes, and we're gonna take a quick break and be back with director Nikki Caulfield after this. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here in Detroit Lake City Park, home of Shakespeare in the Park at the Band Shell, and I'm standing with director uh, Nikki Caulfield. Now, Nikki, you are also the founder of Shakespeare in the Park for Detroit Lakes. Yes, this, like I said, this is my baby. Um, <laughs> this is my pet project in the summer that I guess it keeps me out of trouble. Okay, so why Shakespeare in the Park? Um, well, how do you not do Shakespeare in this? This is perfect. This is the setting it was meant for. Um, when Shakespeare wrote his plays, he meant them for an outdoor theater. The Globe is an outdoor theater. Uh, it's a little different, but we have such a, it's a perfect natural amphitheater here in the park. Uh, it's a beautiful setting, a little loud sometimes, but um, it, it's just, it was screaming to do Shakespeare out here. So when I moved back to Detroit Lakes, I took one look at the new band shelter, um, and I said, I have to do Shakespeare there. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So we're very happy that you're doing this in our community, and now you've been doing this for three years. Yes. Uh, so this year's production is what? All's Well That Ends Well. Okay. It doesn't roll off the tongue as easily <laughs> as it should. Um, it's not one of his more well-known shows. Um, it's got some awkward moments in the in the plot. The ending is a little contrived almost, mm -hmm. but it's a uh, it works with a lot of the fairy tale kind of logic. You know, the king can step in, or the queen in our in our case, can step in and just save the day, and everybody is happy with that. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it, that's how it works. But it's kind of fun because of it. Um, it is a fairy tale for grown-ups. Okay. All right. Great. And now you have 12 actors. 13, actually. 13. Okay, 13. Yep. 13. We have, uh, I realized we have a role for an attendant on the Queen, so okay. we did add, we added somebody else. All right. So uh, what are the dates? Now, you're coming up, you've had one weekend already, and now this uh, next weekend, what are the times and the dates? It's July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, uh, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Both Friday and Saturday is at 7 o'clock p.m., and on Sunday we have afternoon matinee, bring the sunscreen. It tends to get a little <laughs> sunny out here, but uh, that's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, great. And, uh, you know, you'll have benches here. People can bring blankets or lawn chairs and just, just camp out here. Absolutely. Um, we, we found most people tend to prefer a lawn chair over the benches, so a little more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now is uh, there is no cost, and it's free. Absolutely. All get right. your money's worth. So you can spend a day in the park and get uh, cultured, as it were. Yes. I like that. <laughs> All right. And, of course, you've been doing this for three years. What's your favorite story out of the three years? Now, you, you're, still, you're still in the midst of this year, but, uh, I am, and I'm always biased towards the one we're currently doing. <laughs> you know, it's, this is funny because with the, the plot being a little awkward, I wasn't sure if I would like it when I chose it, which seems odd considering I chose the play. But it's grown on me. It, there's great characters in this show that just don't get performed enough. Um, very quirky, memorable bits in this, so it's, it's really funny. Okay. And I, I know it sounds funny to say I'm surprised that it was funny, but... This is a really funny show. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we'll be the judge of that. And we've got, we've talked to a couple of your actors, and they've had a great experience. Some of them are veteran actors Good. after three years, if you can be a veteran. They're still <laughs> but they back. keep coming back. So uh, come on out to the city park, take in Shakespeare in the Park, and uh, you can visit Caulfield, see all the actors, and uh, enjoy the, the park and at the, uh, the band shell here in Detroit Lakes. Uh, Nikki Caulfield and Shakespeare in the Park for TV3 Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy.